Allison Berger here for Blockchain Global News. I'm at Token Match in New York City, and I am sitting with the Business Development Director of Skeeth, Kristen, Christian Lorenzen. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thanks a lot for having me, Allison. I'm happy you're with me. You've already loaded me with so much information, but I want to share them with the audience. First, let's get into the name Skeeth. All right. Okay, cool. So <laughs> Skeeth is an old Slavic word that means Valkyrie. Uh, and if you remember Apocalypse Now with the flying helicopters, mm -hmm. bum, 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 <laughs> that's the word uh, skeeth. And it was chosen because we are a manufacturer of the largest operational drone in the world. Wow, it's incredible. Thanks. So tell me about your connection with Token Match today. Okay, so we are a manufacturer of the skeeth drone that can carry 400 kilograms, about 880 pounds. And we work in the supply chain industry. In supply chain, there are many different parties that don't necessarily trust each other. For example, mm -hmm. you are a customer and you want to use our drone and you have financed the operations of the drone. If you haven't paid the financer on time, then the propellers wouldn't start turning. If you are operating it and you haven't uh, done the maintenance according to the schedule, the propellers wouldn't turn. So right. there are all these ways that you could use the smart contracts inside a blockchain to ensure a safe and stable operation of this drone. And people need that. So how are you seeing people react to you resolving this trust issue? Uh, well, our customers are very happy about it. Uh, we've been developing uh, both the drone and the blockchain in conjunction with conversations with customers in oil and gas and agriculture, mm -hmm. and they're excited about it. Uh, we've got uh, use cases planned for them starting in 2019. Wow. Yeah. So where do you see this going from here? You already have so many things in the making, so what's next? Uh, make sales. Uh, <laughs> The, the, the drone is actually flying in windy conditions, so if uh -huh. you could imagine wind gusts of 30 miles per hour, it's able to, on its own, take off, follow a given path, and land even when wind is gusting across it, which is a difficult technical challenge to solve. And how are you working into all of this? I mean, that's a lot of involvement to create a drone of such that has to involve countless re research and efforts. What's, what's Have all involved? Have you heard of a company called Tupolev? No, I have not. So Tupolev is Russian's Boeing. Uh, so our engineering team, our aeronautical engineering team comes from Tupolev. And what they've done, which is uh, patented, mm -hmm. is they've separated the lift function. So you have a gasoline engine that drives two large propellers to fly, and then smaller propellers stabilize it. And this is the only drone that has separated those two functions. Wow. Every other drone on the market, the propellers are the same size mm -hmm. and usually uh, powered by battery. So it can't operate as long. And then on the chain, um, our blockchain developer mm -hmm. is a company that people that are watching would be interested in knowing called Kiwi, Q-I-W-I. -I, uh -huh. And they have a blockchain technology fund that's working with governments and financial institutions uh, thinking about payments inside a blockchain. Very interesting. You're adding in all the industries together. So what are you looking forward to walking away from Token Match today with? I'm looking forward in walking away with potential investors that are also industry partners. So individuals that might be interested in uh, contributing to our community through getting some tokens because they see this future as a real one. And then also individuals that have been involved in their own past in oil and gas or agriculture or shipping that might have uh, some customer contacts uh, you know, that we could then um, start talking to. You just mentioned that you want to see believers in this, that this is the future and it's a real one. So what do you say to those that are non-believers? Uh, um, do, a, do a technical due diligence, I mm -hmm. suppose. Uh, I mean, anybody should talk to an engineering team and understand the solid, I mean, think about Elon Musk, right? Get down to the physics of it and make your investment based upon an understanding of the capabilities of an engineering team. Good answer. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, you're welcome. So until next time, I'm Allison Berger for Blockchain Global News. See you later.